How's it going, Twitch? My name is Skull, and on behalf of East Asia Soft, welcome to today's stream. Today, I am continuing my playthrough of Love Kami Trilogy with the third game in the trilogy, Healing Harem. And, uh, yeah. Um, hard to believe. We literally only have today and next Saturday, and we're done. <laughs> we're done with the whole trilogy. So, let's go ahead and hop straight into it and see where we're at. What happens next? I have no idea what is going on. <laughs> I don't remember what, we're, what we were doing. Kaide deftly worked the pan and chopsticks to roll up the eggs. Hello, Dim. Don't you mean next Sunday? What did I say? Did I say Saturday? God, when you're an adult, you just don't know what day of the week it is, I guess. Yeah, today's Sunday. Next Sunday, yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's right. Okay, we have the main character's um wife, girlfriend, and mistress. That's what we're up to. <laughs> and I think that I had I, I'm leaning in the direction of picking the mistress. <laughs> Not to back up Yukari or anything, but Kaide really didn't look like the type to be good in the kitchen. She still had that mischievous look about her from her Tatarigami days. She on. I like her. She's the cutest. And especially good at cooking. Better than my mom. We might have made her blush, but her hands never faltered. The way she so expertly handled herself while cooking really made her seem like perfect wife material. Okay. Wife. Girlfriend. Mistress. Got it. Shion and I left the kitchen so we wouldn't bother them. <laughs> What's that mean? Xion went around unpacking gleefully, setting up her stuff just the way she liked. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Part of me worried about leaving Xion unsupervised, but I did as she suggested. A few minutes later, Xion had finished and was all settled in. Oh, good lord. That'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> she somehow managed to use her laptop and eat chips while simultaneously flipping through the comic she was reading. Hmm. Part of me thinks she might be a little too comfortable. You've sure made yourself at home. Won't Kaide get mad at you for lazing around? I can't understand her words through the chips. I actually can't understand the thing that she's saying. That's impressive. That much was true. She did seem to have gotten away with the mess in her old room. Kaide had probably grown tired of asking her to clean up again and again. We're going to be eating soon, though, so you might want to hold back on those chips. <laughs> I literally cannot understand her. <laughs> you think so? 
I'd say her meals are always full of flavor. Just the kind of stuff I like. She probably just tries to cook balanced meals for you. Making up for the oils and salts you get from all that junk you eat. I can't understand her! It's, a, it's actually impressive how little I can make out what she's saying. You should listen to her, you know. Finally, I understood that. She declined to heed my advice. Probably the same way she ignored Kaede. There, what goes? <laughs> stonks. Wait, you've been buying stocks? Xion used to be so afraid of her powers that she absolutely refused to come in contact with anyone. But not anymore. Realizing she couldn't stop her powers, she tried to balance them out in other ways. Wait, really? She always seems so spacey. She actually was planning ahead. Maybe she wasn't looking all that far ahead. Is she buying crypto? <laughs> I had a feeling she was enjoying herself a little too much. Okay, I get it, you're excited. But could you stop flailing your legs around like that? I can see her, you know, whatever, whenever she kicked around, I could see her panties under her skirt. The contrast between her underwear and her well-shaped legs caught my eyes. <laughs> You're wearing some, don't worry. Wait, you forget to wear underwear sometimes? <laughs> Alas, today was not that day. <laughs> Trying to just laugh it off, was she? I'd prefer if you don't forget ever. She started drifting off back into her own world. And though I had just asked her to stop, she started kicking her legs around again. What are you getting at? This guy. This man. The situation is completely unrealistic. These women are thirsty. Don't get go bit but bad. Don't go get any rash now, Shion. Do you seriously think we could get away with that here? With that, she went back to her business and waggling her legs around as if I wasn't even there. Ugh. She did have a nice butt. And while she might have been self-conscious about her looks, she definitely had her own charm. Sorry, but you really need to stop. 
Costa. I can't take it anymore. I think you're underestimating how good you look. Just stop right there. Not another word. She didn't stop moving her legs, but she started doing so a little more modestly. That reaction was just another part of her charm. Not that she seemed to be aware of it herself. This is the horniest game of the trilogy by far. I guess with the with the word harem in the title, I shouldn't have been surprised. Oh, I like that outfit. Did they really tie her up again? Yukari was doing everything in her power to object. By the time I had come down to breakfast, Yukari was already tightly bound by Kaide's ropes. As if adding credence to her threats, black clouds rose around her. She what now? So, that's what this is all about. I'd slept through it all and hadn't noticed. Who would have thought all this had gone on? あなたに留守番をお願いします。縛られた状態で留守番なんて無理です。じゃあ、ほどいてあげるから。私は<笑> It was never a good sign when she laughed like that. Her Jinriki oozed out from within, so much so that even Kaide was taken aback. All right, Kaide, that's enough. Come on, let's all settle down. I took Yukari in her frightening mental state and drew her close to me. Yeah, sure, whatever. Are you okay, Yukari? We won't leave you behind, don't worry. You're coming with us. Hey, cut that out! Not settling down a bit, she stopped licking me and started giving me love bites. A complete turnaround from before, she was now more like a cute kitten than a lion. Oh, this is all my fault? The main shrine was still in the same city as our branch, but it was quite far away. We had to take a bus up over the mountains and head down about an hour on the far side to get into town. And the bus stop itself was all the way out at the rear temple.
Uh, she's kind of pretty. <laughs> if a little obsessed. The seats on the bus were in pairs, so Yukari and I sat together. Maybe some other time. I've got a meeting today. I could tell she was getting excited at the thought by how she latched onto me. She seemed pleased to have me to herself. <laughs> we had decided our seats fair and square with rock, paper, scissors. Jealous? Yukari was completely ignoring the others. She wanted to pretend we were here without them. <laughs> Don't even joke about that! I'm not sure she realized what she was wishing on us. I could have handled her just talking about it. But the black clouds rising up around our hands had me worried. Hey, you want to relax a little? I took her hands and held back the Tatari. If I hadn't, the bus might have been in trouble. I'd prefer you just keep the bus in one piece. Oh, that's a lot of unneeded pressure on the poor guy. She was hugging my arm. She was holding on so tight it felt like my arm might fall off. I think they're jealous. Just a hunch. <laughs> I forgot we did that. Now it was Kaede's turn to start overthinking. <laughs> what has this guy got himself into? They're all crazy. They're all lunatics. They're all lunatics. The more they tried to stop her, the more Yukari drew close. There was no stopping her now. Sure. <laughs> when we got to the main shrine, I left the others behind to attend my meeting. They were free to hang out around town. A few hours later, I headed out to join them again. Oh, she knows how to fly. She came speeding my way and dove right at me. She basically came at me with a flying body press. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> then they grab her midair. And there she went. Kaide and Shion work together to pull her back, right out of her mid-air position. Totally off guard, she fell face first into the ground. Igari seemed to finally have her wits back. Don't worry, I'm fine. But please don't do that again. I might be able to calm your Jinriki, but resisting physical pain isn't my forte. <laughs> She tossed me a meaningless smile. Whenever she got excited, she basically lost all sense of restraint, so it was best to take anything she said with a grain of salt. Well, we got permission to have our festival, and they said we don't need to assist them at theirs either. They were originally planning for us to cancel our annual festival and help out with the one at the main shrine instead. But all that was now cast aside. All that was now cast aside. And we could go ahead with our own festivities. What? No, it was nothing big. I'm positive that all three of these goddesses are abusing their powers. She had an evil grin on her face, and her dark powers seemed to be flowing towards the shrine. Could you not curse the main shrine with that tattery of yours? Thanks. Uh, excuse me. Even hypothetically, I could never trust Yukari to hold herself back. Listen, I'm glad you all want to help, but don't let it get out of hand, all right? Kaede wasn't a problem these days, but apparently just a while back, she'd been a force to reckon with. There's nothing wild about this. Yeah, that thanks, girls. I had worried maybe I was dragging them into this, but I guess I was overthinking things. It was a relief to hear them all talk like this. The next bus should be here soon. Wanna head back? I was a little worried about you, Kari, but I didn't exactly feel in a rush to head back either. <clears throat> All right, let's head out for a while. We headed down the pathway between the shrine and the station. 
It was dotted with shops and restaurants. The place wasn't exactly a bustling urban center, but it was much bigger than our own neighborhood. Hmm, tofu skin or beef maybe. They were popular with tourists, so there were lots of samples on offer. She gave the little piece of a try. I understood, tada! Look at me, getting better at Japanese. <laughs> she shot Shion down hard. She shot Shion, wow. Fried tofu skin manju. Soybean snack. It's a popular regional delicacy. Okay. You know it. I love these things. Mmm, so steamy and delicious. This area was the only place you could get them. They were a bit too much in the summer, but come fall, they were perfect. Yeah, I like I like that better than the plain kind. I might have accidentally pressed A during the trans transition, sorry. Ever since we had left the main shrine, something had been off about Yukari. She seemed really taken aback by how much of a head start Kaide had over her in getting to know me. Aside from cleaning, some of the other work we did at the shrine included managing our stock of charms and fortunes. Sorry for dragging you all into this. <laughs> Fair enough. Carnal pleasures. Good night, everybody. Oh, these women are so thirsty. Kaede sent a troubled gaze my way. And just like that, Yukari's Genriki clouded around her. I didn't press A. Shion had a scowl on her face. The very air around us felt heavy. <laughs> Excuse me. Her Jendriki grew and grew into Tateri. Since it had no clear target, I couldn't hold it all back. Yukari! 
<laughs> oh dang! Kaede went in and slapped Yukari hard on the cheek. Kaede was really letting Yukari have it. Kaede knew firsthand what it was like to be a Tatarigani. They were rivals, but she was honestly worried for her, too. Slapped out of her state, Yukari stared up at Kaede. The Tatari that had spread through the room was quelled in an instant. There we go! All you need to do is slap her. Just right on the cheek. <laughs> is she possessed? No, she's just, uh... She's just mean. It's just her inner dark spirit emanating, I suppose. Kaede spoke with a smile, nicer than any I'd ever seen. Even Yukari, who had seen her as nothing but a rival, was captivated by it. Raindrops outside made themselves heard. Then the rain began to fall, like the fall of sweet tears. <laughs> Excuse me? Leaving the dazed Yukari in Shion's hands, Kaede headed outside. I'll help! She made a volcano explode?! The Tachari rain only lasted a few minutes. Even so, it turned into quite the downpour. We were soaked just from stepping outside to get the laundry. We're a little wet, but I guess this isn't so bad. Yukari seemed to get back to normal. Something was still restless inside me, though. Turning to look at her, I saw Kaede's wet clothes clinging tightly to her body. She had worked so hard to keep the laundry dry that she took the full force of the rain herself. It was... quite a sight. Uh... D don't worry, I didn't see anything. Well, I mean, just a little? You always look great, but, uh, this is... Oh, you don't understand what men want. That only makes it worse for us guys, told ya. Don't make me spell it out. Everyone knew that see-through clothes were way sexier than just seeing someone in the nude. But your chest. I saw no sign of any underwear under her top. Which meant she might be brawless. How would you wear a bra with something like this? You should. What if they got all droopy or something? She pressed them out for me to see. 
That figure of hers made the very idea seem ridiculous. She was beautiful. Of course I would! <laughs> Enough! Come on, you're going to catch a cold! And just then, Shion walked in on us. <laughs> How desperate can you be? <laughs> Slow down, I can handle this myself. Ikari was back to her normal self, like nothing had even happened. <laughs> Yukari's eyes narrowed. But she didn't seem ready to fire off more Tatari. Uh, what? Sexual tension? No! The girl on the left reminds me of Kokoro from the other novel series. I guess she kind of does. Wow, she really does. Wow. You know, what's interesting is I'll be replaying that novel series later. Uh, after... Uh, you made Tsutsu, I think. Yeah. After... After we're done with this, I'll be doing Trigger Witch all the way through, and then I'll be playing that again to get a good ending. So that's... Yeah. She does look like her. And the one on... Wait, no, no, no. Oh, we were talking about the one on the... No, no, no. The one on the left, yeah. But the one on the right really reminds me of Kotori from If My Heart Had Wings. <clears throat> Maybe it's a stereotype and we're bad for thinking of them like that. <laughs> like there's only five girls in anime and they all look the same. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, that's... I didn't think about that. You're, you're absolutely right. Yukari ran outside in determination. Glad to see her back to normal, though. I wouldn't have been surprised if she'd been out of it for a while. Taide had clearly noticed, too. What is this game? <laughs> she looked right at my crotch, her face beat red. The blush spread all over her body. It made her cuter than ever before. At least that's what it felt like to me. Has anyone shame in this game <clears throat> so it turns out we will be hosting our annual festival this year after all i dropped by our local store to share the news from the main shrine <laughs> mr shirani the the owner of the seedling stall joined us as we talked things out Let's discuss the details when we get everyone together. I'm going to need everyone's help to pull this off. I still say she's the cutest, though. Okay. Good 
considering how old most of our visitors are, pizza isn't really inappropriate. For a second, I almost thought, yeah, sushi should work. I feel like I've heard this song before. Okay, I get why that doesn't sit well with Shion, but why you, Yukari? She drew in close. <laughs> She's worried there's a chance that he won't like hers. <laughs> and just like that, she started growing dark. Since I was nearby, it didn't manifest as Tachari, but I could tell it had been close. Kaede flashed an intimidating smile. Shion had no way out. The other goddesses headed into the main hall to start prepping. My broom? Was I able to catch Delphox in the raid? I didn't try. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you were struggling so much, Tim. The seven-star raids are always difficult, um, so I can't say I'm too surprised, but still sorry to hear that. <laughs> no matter how cute you get in asking, no. I'll help, though, so let's get it over with. Uh, this one was difficult. Like I said, I didn't even try. Evening came, and our visitors arrived, one after another. Well, mostly I just didn't try because I already transferred in the whole line through a Pokemon Home, so... Didn't really see a need. It was a true testament to countryside values how everyone came out to help. Because I want everyone to eat, drink, and be merry. We don't get many opportunities like this. Social gatherings like this were a big part of holding a festival. We held parties while we planned and prepared. The festival itself was one big social event. We'd even get together again to celebrate afterwards. Even the oldest among us got into the spirit of it, and were just as passionate as anyone else. <laughs> Kaede was always the life of the party at these sorts of things. And that sounds really tough. This area had worshipped her since long ago, and the feeling was especially strong among those here. Mrs. Iwakura was a local konyaku, konyaku farmer. She spoke to Yukari with a pleasant smile on her face. Hi, I'm 
はじめまして、岩倉です。はじめまして。Mrs. Iwakura, who didn't have a bad bone in her body, spoke pleasantly to Yukari. Perhaps unused to this sort of attention, Yukari seemed taken aback. <laughs> Yukari herself made about half of what we're all eating tonight. She was quick to compliment Yukari, but Mrs. Iwakura was a great cook herself. She was polite enough to stay humble, though. <laughs> she was a Tatsuragami, but she couldn't just blurt that out. Yukari struggled at a loss for words until she finally found some she was comfortable with. Oh lord, this can only end well. She spoke without hesitation. At this rate, people might mistake her for some sort of goddess of marriage. <laughs> you painted yourself in a corner, got no one to blame but yourself. Yukari didn't deny a word of it, but enjoyed every last bit of praise. She hadn't exactly lied, but people were definitely under the wrong impression. She is going to ruin everything. She slipped right on over to me. I let my guard down for just a moment, and she was there in an instant. Th that's close enough. Everyone's watching. Should have seen this coming. We really should have seen this coming. Stop smiling and help me here! <laughs> Gaide and Shion worked together to get Yukari off me. Despite being a goddess of misfortune, Shion was somehow still good at making money. Leaving her in charge would practically guarantee financial success. Okay, I admit it might be dangerous to leave it all up to Shion. <laughs> she did not like that. It was the truth, though. Plain and simple. Okay, 
を最短にするのです。Yukari stared straight into my eyes. Her motivations were clear as day. Yeah, this is not that kind of game. I would like to see that kind of game, but this is not that. And I couldn't stream it. So basically, you all complain no matter who's in charge. We weren't getting anywhere. Our guests had been watching the whole time, they were now eyeing me intently. Okay. Instead of choosing any one leader, let's all take the lead together. We'll all come up with ideas to liven up the festival. How about it? I wasn't planning on making it this competitive. Sure, fun. I mean, I guess? I didn't really want to set them against one another, but it did seem like the best way to put on the festival. I could almost see it now. Everyone is listening in on this. Ikari let her fantasies run wild, making the sort of face you shouldn't make in front of company. But it didn't matter what anyone's goals were, as long as they were committed to making the festival work. Alright, so, can I count on you? If any troubles arose, I'd just have to handle things then. That would be my job. How so? We could take a poll and choose our winner. I'm sorry for yawning so much. I don't know why. I got a full night's sleep. It seemed like everyone was down for it. It could be a good way to organize the festival. I guess we need something, huh? Deciding exactly what was tough. I didn't want them to get carried away, but I still wanted it to be something they'd work for. Her eyes were already twinkling. I could read her like a book. <laughs> she's talking like she's already won. Mm. 
なが勝ったら欲望むき出しのお願いをするんでしょそのようなはしたないことはしません慎み深くちぎりを求めるだけです結局それじゃんちぎりとは何も肉体だけのものではありませんきちんと心を通わせその上で体も一つに<笑>もう同じ過ちは繰り返しません Her request is going to be that they pork, isn't it? I took that to mean she wouldn't creep in on me at night again. At least I wouldn't wake up to see her bound with Kaede's ropes anymore. Okay, fine. Your prize will be one favor from me. Interesting word choice. Just take it easy, okay? You could never be sure what she was going to pull. I'm sure of something she wants to pull. I didn't want this to be a fight, but here we were anyway. It might be tough to reel them in, but it would definitely make things more interesting. Okay, let's do this. And that was that. We had our plans. Now everyone just had to make their preparations. Fun. これは真剣勝負ですからそれぞれ別々に作戦を練りましょう。The three of them had always stuck together to keep an eye on each other, but Yukari's plan was to split them up. 私はキッチンを使わせてもらうから、あなたたちは立ち入り禁止よ。Oh, yeah, choice incoming indefinitely.、Uh, <clears throat> definitely, definitely. That's what I was trying to say. Indubitably. Like, yes, there's a choice coming. We're about at that point in the game. <laughs> She didn't need to say anything more than that menacing <laughs> to get her point across before she left. Relax, she'll be fine. Do I need to? She spoke so matter of factly as she turned to her laptop. If that's the angle you're going for, you probably do have the advantage. But it wasn't going to be easy. For one thing, Kaede already had more than a few worshippers. I guess that's fair. We're way out in the middle of nowhere here. You really think people are going to show up? During the day, the Shiraito Falls drew in some tourists out to see nature, but we'd been voting, but we'd be voting at the end of the festival, late into the night. It was hard to imagine anyone hanging around that long. Do you actually have any ideas yet? <clears throat> I 
姉さんのすることなら大体想像つくしキッチンに行くってことはお得意の料理でしょお祭り限定メニューでも出すつもりじゃない That did seem likely. Kaede used to be a bit rough around the edges, but she was dependable. We could rest assured that she was taking a simple approach and wasn't planning on pulling any stunts. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. You amaze me with your crookedness. Kaede was too innocent to be anything but happy at the prospect of Xion working together with her. But Xion was aiming to take all the credit. With that, she left the room. Apparently, she was preparing something for me. She was trying to buy my silence, but I hadn't planned on snitching anyway. Xion was standing there with an apron on for some reason, and I assume nothing else. So, are you going to cook for me or something? She jumped around to make her point, and the cute apron fluttered about. I saw no sign of clothing beneath it. No, 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 I get it. Just stay still. <laughs> These girls. Mm. Wh what? Who? Me? Okay, so I complimented her on her behind before, but I didn't mean it in that sort of way. <laughs> As she twisted, I caught sight of her body, from her side to her breasts. Xion wasn't exactly what you would call curvy, but she had her own charm. <laughs> oh man, she pinched the inch of her apron and started to lift it up. Not all the way, of course, but just far enough to be on the very edge of being revealing. Xion, you really... I don't think that women act like this. I don't think that they do. I don't think. Maybe it's a goddess thing? Anymore, and I'm not sure I could hold myself back. <laughs> do you have any idea? How much of a open invitation that is for a girl like this. See? Could you at least pick a better time or place? I mean, fair point. <laughs> they aren't women, they're goddesses. Fair. She's stronger than she looks, too. Yikes! The place that legend was said to have occurred was still a barren wasteland with a blood red hot spring today. It was only a legend, of course, but when you live with someone from said legend, it feels a lot more real. Which had stopped Xion from pulling anything, too. Oh, 
アッキーのハートを射止められるかどうかはすっごく難しいよね。These women are desperate, man. For this man. 私はね、こう見えて結構わがままなんだ。欲しいものは絶対手に入れる。どんな卑怯な手を使ってもね。ということで、覚悟しててね、アッキー。She said what she had to say and then took off. You were embarrassed that whole time? She had strutted out like she had not a care in the world, but I guess she had just been playing tough. She is hard to read, that one. Xion might play dirty and use the occasional underhanded tactic, but you couldn't hate her for it. She was still a good goddess at the core. She would definitely work hard to make this festival a success. No matter how it might turn out in the end, I could at least commend her on that. So we're just going to ignore all of that. Okay. This guy, the sheer amount of. Stuff that has happened to this guy in the last day of his life has just been like from three different girls. Oh man. <laughs> Maybe it's a Japanese thing. A few days had passed since the three goddesses had each taken to their own festival plans. Things were starting to take shape. Wow. Not bad. People are going to love this. For sure. It'll even be a hit with the tourists. Kaide had asked me to be a taste tester for the new menu she'd whipped up. She was going to have some of our shrine regulars try it out later, too, but I was the first step. Is this all you're going to be making? I asked her while sipping on the mushroom soup. Seven dishes, wow. You came up with all that by yourself? Uh huh. Kaide. You're being duped. She's playing along for now, but Shion plans on using you for her own ends. It's, it's nothing. Shion had already paid me to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, what a payment it was, yo. It was a bit of a dirty play, but I guess it was all part of the competition. We dropped by the falls on our way to the store. It was always picturesque here, which made it worth the trip in itself. Ooh, that is pretty. You should set up some food to sell here, too. There wasn't really any sort of red leaf flavor that came to mind. There were dishes that used leaf shapes and things like that, but nothing had jumped out so far. You've already got plenty of savory food, so why not go and get something sweet? You don't have to do anything too complex. Just try and picture what would taste best out in a beautiful place like this. <clears throat> How about chestnuts instead? <laughs> Probably not. So don't go tell anyone, telling anyone, okay? If Xion was going to try and pull one over on her, I might as well give Kaide a helpful nudge. 
can't help one and turn away the other. Uh, that's a promise. You know, I really couldn't say. Kaede's menu was really coming along. There was so much to make that she was putting together multiple things at once. Wait, you're going to let her try it later? Fair enough. True, it would be cruel to deny someone a bite when it smelled that good. Kaede finished frying up some things while Shion and I waited. Shion bit right into it without waiting for one word of explanation. Okay, a seasonal freshwater fish. High nutritional content, usually eaten grilled or fried in tempura. Cool. Alright, let me have a bite. Wow. This is so good. You sure know your stuff. It's still impressive. Shion could never pull off something like this in a million years. <laughs> yeah, she's right there, man. Well, am I wrong? Kaede was all in on working with Shion. She would make all the food and Shion would handle the rest. The event itself would probably be a huge hit, but was she even thinking about how that would affect the poll results? Yeah, when are we going to get to pick our girl? Come on, should be happening any minute now. Theoretically. What are you going to do? その先に待っているものが何なのか想像を巡らせすらしないなんてもう笑いが止まりませんシーパート <laughs> okay, the first time we had this scene, I thought she had ulterior motives. I don't think she has ulterior motives. I think she's just kind of crazy. Like, she's just desperate for Akira, I think is all it is. It was a rare occasion when only Yukari and I were together for breakfast. I can feed myself, thank you. You don't give up, do you? 
I gave in and let her feed me a bite. Don't congratulate yourself too much. Without Kaede and Shion around to interfere, Yukari was having her way. So, where did the others go exactly? Why is her mouth not moving? Did they forget to program it, or is it. Or does it mean something? Apparently, they wanted to stick to local produce and were out getting whatever they needed. Kaede is one thing, but I'm surprised Shion is up and about so early. One look from Yukari's eyes told me everything. She was talking about Kaede's ropes. So, Shion got all tied up, huh? She definitely doesn't go easy. Kaede could be pretty strict with Shion. Maybe it was because she felt obliged to act as her guardian. Or something. I don't believe you. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you into sweeping with me. Once the house was clean, I had to attend to the shrine for the afternoon. Sure, there were lots of other things to be done before the festival, but these leaves weren't just going to rake themselves. She really was a bit much. I mean, it was only cleaning. Don't you have preparations of your own, though? <laughs> sure, but what about the festival? Kaede and Shion were completely focused on their plans, but Yukari didn't seem preoccupied at all. Playing it cool is one thing, but if you aren't careful, they're going to steal your thunder, you know? <laughs> well... Wait, seriously? If that were true, I would have told you right from the start. Yeah, you caught me off guard, but I know you're not a bad person. No truly evil person would talk that way. Yukari never stopped smiling around me. She always seemed so happy, beaming at me. True, she could be heavy-handed in showing affection, but how I handled that was up to me. You sure you don't have anything you need to do? I could help you out. As long as we keep it fair to the others. I'd already helped the other two out anyway. It wouldn't have been right not to help Yukari too. She peered up longingly at me. She definitely knew how to play cute. Sure, as long as it's something I can do. She took my hand and led me to the main hall. Huh? 
Wait a sec, where are we? She explained nothing, but just dragged me away. Take one guess about what's going to happen. What? Wait! Uh! Shocked! I'm shocked! I'm absolutely shocked that this is what it's led to. And that's how it happened. That's how Yukari and I ended up in a bath together in the middle of the afternoon. She'd stripped me bare and pulled me in. Getting a little ahead of yourself, huh? <laughs> she seemed the same as normal to me, but was she feeling nervous about this too? But why a bath? That's not what I meant. I was supposed to be helping you with your prep. As she made gestures with her hands, the water splashed around. I could feel the movement from where I sat right behind her. Especially that of... certain parts of her. I don't see why we had to bathe, though. And in the nude, too. We didn't have bathing suits or towels to cover ourselves. We were as naked as the day we were born. I mean, yeah, I guess I can't see, but... So I'm guessing that he's, like, sitting in front of her with his back to her. That's my guess. Yukari was more or less sitting on my lap. Okay, the other way around. Oh, I see. That's his leg. Got it. Her arms were together in a hug-like pose. Well, yeah, of course. Her tender butt was pressed right into me. We can guess exactly where on him. There was nothing but water separating us. Don't worry, I feel you already. What more could she want? Talk about desperate. She didn't actually say where, but I couldn't help thinking about her bare chest floating in the water. D don't tempt me. This is hard enough already. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Yes, that's what she was, could feel. No. <laughs> we were so close, I couldn't help myself. I had no doubt she could feel <clears throat> something else, too. Give me a break! わかってますよ。私に手を出したら公平じゃなくなっちゃいますもんね。ですから今はいいです。私きっと近いうちに我慢しなくてよくなりますし、今のところはこれだけで。アキラさんを感じられただけで満たされますから。<笑> What am I what am I playing? <laughs> the next few days flew by in a hurry. In addition to the goddess's plans, the normal festival prep was making good progress. This was just the same stuff we did every year, so it wasn't really much of a hassle. I did get worked to exhaustion as the only young hand around, but that was also something that happened every year. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's really something. I'm not sure inciting them is really our goal. It was a rare day when Yukari complimented a rival. But Shion's professional quality work was good enough to merit even that. Well, you've seen the age group we cater to here. It would be nice if city workers came out to help us, but all the aid tended to flow to the main shrine. Kaede hadn't yet joined us in the digital age. She was about as far removed from the net as you could be these days. That's why she left all the promotional business to Xion's hands. Don't go overboard, though, Xion. Xion's campaign had gone so viral that even she realized it was a little excessive. She didn't stop at promoting the festival, but went on to include the shrine itself in the nearby area. No matter what her intentions were, this was going to be good for the people around here. How are things on your end, Kaide? Making progress? Sounds like it's all coming together. None of us knew what Yukari was planning, though. She'd been spending her days the same as always, doing nothing out of the ordinary. She's planning something devious, that's for sure. Yukari smiled and didn't spill a single detail. Unable to draw any info out of her, Kaede and Shion looked worried. Before long, it was the night before the festival. The excitement made it hard to sleep. Tonight's prep is done already. A few stalls already had been set up by the Tory Gate. They were on sacred grounds, of course, so they weren't there to turn a profit. Tomorrow's the day, huh? I wonder how it'll go. No matter who won, it would be cause for celebration. Everyone had worked hard to put this together. But me? What could I do? Looks like everyone's still awake. The lights still weren't out. Maybe they were still busy with last minute prep. Or maybe they were just like me and couldn't sleep. Maybe I should go check on her. Well, finally we get to pick. Let's go ahead and save in the three slots. Okay, who are we picking? Yukari, Kaede, or the one that I'm going to pick? Of course we're picking Shion, she's the cutest. Yukari, whatever you have planned, it had better not ruin my day. <clears throat> I headed into the main hall to look for Shion. Her beloved laptop was there, but Shion herself was nowhere to be found. Alone? That's a scary thought. I'm, not, I'm going to go find her. She may be a goddess, but she's still just a girl out there alone. Why did she have to head out at a time like this? 
I complained aloud to myself as I walked the trail. Xion's passion for success was stronger than the others, but there was a blind spot in her knowledge. She was good at watching others, but not good at watching out for herself. When would she realize what she had? It made no difference how long it took me to get there. Yet, I found myself running just the same. Found her! She on! She seemed puzzled to find me there. What's the matter? What's the matter? Well... Uh, no, but... I'd let myself get worried. But she was just the same as always, which was a relief. Well, yeah. Is that a problem? Come on, a girl out alone at night? I was worried. Not people, but what about bears or something? Do they have bears in Japan? Even Shion must have been afraid of bears. Does Japan have bears? Yes. Asian black bear and the brown bear. They got brown bears in Japan? Aw, oh, shoot. <laughs> well, come on. You can at least help me finish up here. Or that's what she said, sorry. We were almost to the shrine. We walked side by side into the Chinju forest. The darkness only grew more dense in the forest. The place must be under Kaide's protection, but it was still off-putting. Shion clung to me as we headed toward the shrine. She was overjoyed by the sight of the fluorescent lamps. It certainly helps the nerves, huh? We could have turned around, you know. Now that, now that was just like her. She started to dig through her things. What are you looking for? I'll help if you do. <laughs> I can't tell you. I'll help you look for it. It's a game. She told me the name of it, and I started to help her look for it. Is it like a video game or a board game? You came all this way for a game? Yeah, I, I guess so. I broke out some retro games when the urge hit me from time to time. I guess it is a video game. Still, I would never come out this far at night. That didn't take long, huh? Only because Kaide had made her clean up before the move. And even then, it still wasn't that organized. The two of us walked back in the moonlight. The night wind was a bit chilly. Shion, you cold? She wasn't dressed too warm, but she seemed fine. Give me a break! She pretended to be serious, but I didn't hear it that way. She often got like this. That reminds me. Say, Shion, how do you feel about all this anyway? No, about the whole mistress thing. Yukari claiming to be my wife had sparked it all. 
Kaede had responded by pushing back, but Shion hadn't really seemed forced into it or anything. Wait, really? She looked away, trying to avoid my gaze. You don't seem serious about it to me. She was never really one for relationships. I couldn't even imagine her as a mistress. She burst into a sarcastic sort of laugh. Hmm, poor girl. As a goddess of misfortune, countless people had avoided her. She had a place here now, but even other goddesses used to steer clear of her. We would never... <laughs> it certainly wasn't love, but I understood where she was coming from, so, so much it hurt. She was determined in her own sort of way. This was her true motivation, something she couldn't tell Kaide or Yukari. You know, Shion, you're pretty cool. Fine. Cute, then. The tension in the air started to fade, and things felt normal again. But we had taken a big step that we couldn't take back. Oh, as if that wasn't obvious. This time I wasn't going to laugh it away if she tried to pass it off as a joke. I was going to take her word earnestly. Well then, my cute mistress, what shall we do? She spoke so softly, the wind almost stole her words away. Okay, come here. Ah, oh, shoot! <laughs> that was... <laughs> Aki... Akira kissed Chion and Kaede before Yukari. She is going to throw a fit. She stood up on her toes, and I bit down to bring us closer together. Once we were close enough, I planted my lips on hers. It was like a seal to a promise, the lightest of kisses. It felt like Xion grew even smaller as it happened. Her size became all the more apparent as I held her up. She may have been a goddess, but she was a girl too. Well, so I did. It didn't leave my heart racing, but instead left me feeling warm and comfortable. 
she's never kissed anyone before? I remember her saying she'd never been kissed. I guess I was her first. Well, how is that for mistress-like? Eh, yeah, fair. Fair enough. That was surprisingly wholesome. No. What happens next? Wow, the weather sure turned out great. The day of the festival turned out to be a beautifully clear fall day. Yeah, we should be set. We had even finished setting up the lighting and had set up the braziers for the evening. A few stalls were up and ready for business, too. I can't really speak for them, but it seems like they're all ready in their own way. Kade had some cooking prep to do and headed out to the store first thing in the morning. Her food plans included lots of our regular visitors and had the place in a bit of a commotion. Xion <laughs> must have been in charge of carrying things because she was lugging around a huge stock pot. Need some help? Poor girl. I feel bad for her, I really do. Shion was ready to use Kaide to her own benefit, but Kaide seemed to be making her work for it. Shion couldn't back down now after agreeing to help. Yukari was by my side before I noticed. She was waving her hands, trying to shoo the others away. And just like that, she locked her arms with mine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't agree to this. Yukari! So that's what Yukari's plan was. It wasn't much of a plan, really, but it would look impressive to our visitors. Uh, it was a good plan. It actually was a good plan. It's not fair, but it's smart. I don't know about help, but I planned on helping around to see the festival anyway. So... Kaede's pouting was so cute. It was clear as day what would happen if I didn't drop by her booth. I'll be there. Of course I will. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be fair if I didn't. I had to spend time with the other two as well. Yeah, 
かりさんの誘惑に負けないように絶対だからねいってらっしゃーいゆかり waved them off with a huge smile on her face her other hand was locked tightly around mine さてあきらさん今日一日最高のデートにしましょうね Traditional music was playing all around. The main spots were the shrine and around the falls, but anywhere you looked, there were people everywhere. Yeah, it's like you could feel how happy everyone is. <clears throat> Seeing all this now made me realize how much of a mistake it would have been to call off the festival. The people needed the festival. It was an important time for this small community to enjoy themselves. Getting a bit ahead of yourself, don't you think? She drew flirtatiously closer to me. Normally, the others would stop her in an instant, but today, Yukari had free reign and was making full use of it. Don't go forgetting what today is all about. With her like this already, would we even make it through to the evening? I wasn't sure I could keep up with her all day. Heading to the store, we found Shion sitting there making it quite clear she was worn out. Hey, Shion, just wanted to check up on you. <laughs> What'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? Hey, at least do your job first. By handing out, she meant she had them in a pile. She should have been explaining things and trying to draw people in, but she lacked any motivation. Well, who doesn't in this game? <laughs> She was smart. It wasn't fun, but she was smart. Shiana put in the most planning, but even still, Yukari had found a way to beat her. Just what kind of date exactly? <laughs> she is going to kill her? We're about to witness a murder. They might be small, but Shion wasn't flat. This was just an unfair comparison. A darkness was forming around Yukari. Jeez, hold that back! Don't put words in my mouth! This argument was pointless. Yukari and Shion each had their strong points. Anyway, we're going to do the stamp collection thing, so give us our papers. Buttered sweet potatoes. Oh man, I can't remember the last time I had sweet potatoes. Mrs. Iwakura was right beside Shion and handed us a fresh batch of buttered sweet potatoes. Are, uh... You in charge of these, Mrs. Iwakura? あげたお芋にお塩を振ってバターをトッピングしただけの簡単メニューよ。とっても熱々で美味しそうです。ということで、アキラさん、ああ、ちょっとそれずるいし。だってデートですからこうやって食べさせこするのがマナーです。<笑
Ah, oh, this game. Mm, mm, oh, I'm fine. Fresh out of the fryer, they were super hot, but combined with the melted butter, they were delicious. <laughs> Shion sneakily placed the super hot sweet potatoes into Yukari's mouth. <laughs> and so, without feeding each other, we got our first stamp. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Since we were all the way out here, we headed to the falls. The surrounding red leaves were at their peak, and they and there were more tourists than ever. <laughs> there were plenty at the store, too. Maybe it was thanks to Shion, but there were tons more people than usual. <laughs> Looks like Shion did a good job. This was definitely something Yukari and Kaede couldn't have done. I definitely couldn't have done it either. I really doubt she would have slipped up there. Her face was all over the ads and all. Shion looking all innocent, dressed up in her goddess garb, definitely drew attention too. Goddesses might not be all that rare these days, but they were still effective for getting the word out. A crowd had built up around the stall at the falls. It was much more lively compared to Xion's stall. Autumn Chestnut Zenzai. Zenzai, I guess. Yep, Zenzai. It was a total hit. Made by Kaide's hands, it was guaranteed to be delicious. With a lovely gal like Kaide selling it, it's bound to be popular. <laughs> What's the matter? Right. Sorry, I shouldn't talk like that while I'm with you. These, these women. <laughs> she was mostly just joking, but if she actually got mad, I'd be in trouble. Wanna try some? We can't get a stamp if we don't, though. I keep hearing that phrase, I just want to make sure what it is. Akarimashita. Got it, fine, whatever, that's what it means. Okay. At least she agreed to try. But she was acting way different than she had with Shion. I guess she was much more worried about Kaide. Hey Kaide, we're here to try some. Her face changed from her sales smile to a more natural one. <laughs> jealous. They're all jealous. That's what this game is. It's just everyone's jealous of everyone else. We had eaten two of those sweet potatoes, though. Still, if we got two of everything, we probably wouldn't be able to finish collecting all the stamps. Thanks, Kaide. Mr. Shirane was there helping Kaide. He showed strength beyond his age and carried over chairs for us. <clears throat> Sitting down watching the falls made the food taste even better than expected. It tastes good, too. The chestnuts are great. 
Kaede did a good job. That'd be nice. It tastes even better in winter. The end of the festival marked the coming of winter. Once the snow settled in on Kamimori, it was even quieter and had fewer people than normal. This'll be your first winter here, huh, Yukari? Enough to ski, even. We could go to warm up sometimes, though. <laughs> and I think this is a good save spot. <clears throat> well, I hope it's a good save spot. There's no way to know until next next time. You know what happens next time? Make sure that that saved properly. It did. Okay. Next time will be the final stream for Love Kami Trilogy. We will be finishing this game up. Wow. The, this this game has me thinking all kinds of what the actual hey am I reading, but <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun game. So yeah, if you guys want to see how the Kaede and Yukari routes go, you'll have to get the game yourself and play it to find out. Thanks, Dimlord, for being here. Shout out to the Lurkers and shout out to everyone watching this on YouTube afterwards. I'll be back next Sunday to complete, finish, forever, Love Kami Healing Harem. In the meantime, I will be back on Tuesday to play Sea Horizon. I feel like I played that before. And Chaos Galaxy I'll be playing on Friday. So we got some nice packed streams upcoming for all of you to tune in and enjoy. On behalf of East Asia Soft, I have been Skull. Have yourselves a great day and a great week, and I will see you all next time. Let's see what Xion does to us. Poor guy. Bye-bye. <laughs>